Welcome everyone to our HTML programming tutorial. At this time, I would like to share with you how we are to apply hyperlinks to our web page. So let's start it off with this folder. Okay, so I will be demonstrating to you the two ways we apply hyperlinks. First is the, apply, the application of hyperlinks to the sections of our page. And the second is the application of hyperlinks to another section or another web page. The jumping of a web page to another page. So let's start it with the single page. So this is the web page containing three sections. And I'll show you how we are to apply links to each section of the page. So I have here, the section contains the text where I'll be applying later the hyperlinks. And these are the sections of the page where I'll be linking, okay, to this text. Let's see the code. So I'll open it with the notepad. Okay, so here are the two windows which we are to work on while we do the HTML programming, the application of the hyperlinks. Okay, so first is this part of the page, okay, is this part of the code. So we have here my garden, Azure, memoir, beauty, and best. So this is how it looks like if it is displayed in a web page and uh, the sections are this one this part of the code so this one as where i use break tag to break the line between the azure text and the image this one for the second section we have here the memoir the so I, i've used the same code so the break tag then the image here another break tag to separate the text and the image the third section is the beauty and best so same procedure i just used again the break tag and then the image so this is the result of these codes so in working with hyperlinks particularly the linking of sections of our web page i would like to give you some background as to how we are to do about to, to go about it so we first have to name each section of our page so we have to name this section the azure section the memoir and the beauty and best so that later we will know what link we shall contain here in our href tag okay so in naming the section of our page okay we'll first go here in this part of the page in this uh, we start it with the section one the azure so we are to use a tag okay so the attribute will be name we shall name this section as azure as the name of the section so azure next we shall close the name with a tag so this section is named as azure this one be used later in our linking procedure okay the second section be named as memoir okay so we'll just make use of or we'll just have to just copy paste this name okay close it the next section the last section is beauty and best so same procedure we are to just apply name attribute apply the the same name of the section or you can name it in any name you like you can use a b c d you can use one two three and so on okay so let's save it class actually the name attribute or the name the a name tag and attribute does not affect the result of the web page it does not uh, display any change here okay so we'll just have to identify the name of that section which we'll be needing later in our linking okay so let's move on to the very highlight of this uh, demonstration it's the ha linking so we shall apply the code here in this text so this is where it is located in our code and then a memoir and the beauty and best text 
Okay, so to start with the linkings, a tag is used in do the link in doing the link. So href is the attribute that we use to specify the reference or the hyperlink uh, reference, something like that. Okay, so we specify here the name of the section. So the first section is named as Azure. But before its name, we must have here a number sign. Okay, to specify that that link is a section of a page. is just located here within this page. Okay, so that's also what we are to do in the next uh, linking. We are to close, okay? We are to close it. Then we are to start again another link with this section this text. Okay, so same procedure. We are to just apply, okay, the tag. Then change the name of the section to its corresponding name. Next. So same procedure. We just have to change the name corresponding to that section. Okay. Then close it. Because it's where the section ends. That's it. Then click save or control S. If you like to use the mouse, just click file then save. Or control S if you're a fan of using the shortcut keys. Then after saving, you shall see the result here. Reload, right click, refresh, or click here, reload. Okay, so you can see that uh, the text here is already in color blue or is underlined. Or if you are to point your mouse pointer in it, it will appear to be a, it looks like a hand. Okay, that means it is already linked. There is something in it. Okay, so we shall see now how the link works. Okay, that we have uh, the links that we have that I have just demonstrated. So we le uh, let's start with the Azure section. So click at the link, it will jump okay to that particular section of your page. So I'll just make use of this uh, arrow back button to go back. Another section, memoir, click, then you'll be jumping. Just go back, click, and then it will. return or it will jump you to this part of the page so that's how the linking of the sections of a page works okay so remember that in linking we are to first name the section using a name attribute okay which will be needing the name be needed later when you are to do the linking na okay within this page so in linking we use the a h r e f tag with each uh, the a tag same tag but with h r e f attribute and in specifying the section we are to start with the number sign or number or something like hashtag sign okay so that's about the linking of sections of our page i hope you got the procedure as to how you are to do it thank you for listening <laughs> Okay, class, at this time, I would like to give you another demonstration about hyperlinks and still we shall be using the URL, the uh, relative URL. And this is now the what we call external link. So we will be linking a page to another page. Okay, so the files are just within our local drive in our computer. And this are the whole thing that we'll be needing in order for us to have the demonstration. So I would like to give you some background about the files needed. So I have here the index file. It's where uh, I contain the necessary text to be linked later to the pages, the outside pages. So I have here the link 1 page, the link 2 page, and the link 3 page. So obviously they are all HTML files. Okay, so I would like to show you how what it contains. The link one contains Azure a section earlier in our first demonstration. So this is just the, the whole content of the link one. Another is the link two. Still it contains another flower, but it's named memoir. And the link three is another part of our garden. That's the beauty and best. Okay. So this one is the home page of 
uh, our web page. So it, it contains my garden text and the three sections we had earlier. And they are the text or these are the text that is used to link later to those pages. So we shall be linking the link to the, the page one or the link one page to Azure text and the memoir to link to page and the beauty and best to link three page okay so let's start the linking now let's first open the code of the page with a notepad so we can do some change or demonstration about adding a link okay so this is the the, the code of this page so in adding a link we shall be needing an a tag okay and we shall be needing under attribute, uh, an attribute that is href tag, which is used to apply link. Okay, so href equals, then we specify here the name of the page that we shall link to this text. And the, the name is link1. Okay, so don't forget to type the whole file and extension. So we shall start the linking here. Then we are, I, I got a wrong location, so I'll just move this here in the Azure. It's where I want the, the linking be applied, no, in this text, in this Azure text, not in the my garden. So I made a correction. So this is the beginning tag of linking tag or a tag. So we shall close it here because the link just ends here. Okay, so that's about the first link, okay? So after which we let's see how it works. So Control S to save the change, or if you're fan of using the mouse, just click File Menu then click Save to keep or the change. Okay, so let's see how it looks like. So you can either click the refresh button here or right click then refresh or reload. Okay, so if you can see the Azure text here has been uh, underlined and its color changes to uh, uh, purple or blue it depends on your visited the link text color okay so and the rest of the text are still the same no, that means this one has a link okay when you point the, the mouse pointer in it, in it it turns into a hand if i click on the text it will jump me to another page okay so this is already the link one page okay so I'll just be making use of the back button here to go back to this page so that's about the linking of the first text. So let's finish the whole linking procedure. Okay. So I'll just copy the first tag here. I'll do the same procedure to the next text. I'll just change okay the file name of the page. So the other the second page is linked to. So and the the link here. Add the closing so sorry. Add the closing tag here. Okay, then save. So, do it in the last uh, section or last text. So, same procedure. Just change the file name. So, I just make use that I'll find it easy to specify the page name. I just use link123. So, it, it will be easier for me to remember the, the page that I'll be linking in that particular text. So, it's up to you guys as to how you want it, how you... You'd like it to be the, the, the procedure you preferred in working with your linking activity. Okay, so that's about the, the linking. So I'll save now this file, Control S, then Control R or refresh or reload. So if you can see here, they are all underlined and they're all of the same color. They're color purple now. That means they are or they all of the text has hyperlink okay so let's check azure okay memoir okay beauty and best okay so perfectly we are able to do the linking of a page from this page to another page okay so i hope you've learned from this demonstration and the the linking of of the absolute url can also be done this way but you just have to make use of the URL coming from the internet or the sites, the websites you want to include here, in order for you to use the what we call absolute URL. 
Okay, so that would be all for now. I hope you've learned. Just don't uh, hesitate to comment down your questions or anything you want to learn about this topic. So I will be able to be of help to you. God bless everyone. Thank you for watching.